Okay, I'm 9960088888, and this is my second review, my review on the Ky um, Ambush in Cairo, Indiana Jones set. It's the front of the box, side shows Indy, top shows Indy, Marion, Cairo Swordsman, and Cairo Thug, all the minifigures of the set. And up there shows all the features of the set, which are basically nothing. And picture of the upcoming mindset. It's not really upcoming. The first main figure, Mary Ann Raven with, with her new Cairo dress. She's got the dress is new. And she's got a silver pan. The back is not double pins. She has regular hair. Then a new double sided thing. Oh, face. Then Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones not really new. The only new thing about him is his body. That's not double sided. Then, Tyro Thug. It's really cool. Probably my second favorite movie finger in the set. He has a club. He's got new, new face, new body. Then he has a ninja hat. Which is a thing on the back so you can hold on to weapons. Then, Cairo Swordsman. Swordsman has no double-sided torso, the only double-sided torso on the set. He has a control sword, a new face, then he has a turban. It's a new colored turban from all the old, or, old Orient physician sets. And now on to the set. First, get an old western barrel, the old western sets. Inside of it is a Batman machine gun. She's pretty old. Well, not that old, but still. Then, um, you get this. But people say Lego didn't sell purple anymore. You cancel it. Well, it still is in this. Then there's a golden plate. Haven't seen one of those since Aqua Raiders, 2007. Then you get two apples. Which both go into these brown buckets. Which is from Castle. And, um, the last part of the set is this hay cart. Comes with some hay from Lego City, I think that much. Well, oh, and before we go, before I go, here's the review. And thanks for watching my review of the Ambush in Cairo, Indiana Jones set.